Exactly. All right, so let's go back to the client. So mm -hmm. um, I actually met my friend Tiffany Haddish through you at a party uh, during, um, what was it, Fashion Week a few years ago? Maybe, yeah. So we were at the Jeremy Scott party. Jeremy Scott party, and you yep. were there yeah, with, yeah, yeah. You were true. there with her. I was the after there. party, that's the after true, party. yeah. You were there yeah. with her, I was there with Cardi, and we've hung out several times since then, mm -hmm. and then now y'all are not working together mm -hmm. anymore. What happened? Um... <laughs> I start off by saying this. I love Tiffany Haddish, right? You know that she's one of the most beautiful people, yeah. um, most beautiful pe souls ever. Like there's an innocence about her that you just want to protect her, right? And when you saw us, Tiffany was, you know, breaking a little bit. So I took her to Fashion Week. You know, I've I've taken Tiffany, you know, play to Abu Dhabi. Like she's been my plus one. Um, Plenty of times because I, because when you around her, you want to protect her, you want to believe in her, and so I, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let's let me get you into this fashion, sh and so yeah, like that first fashion week, she went out like she, I took her to the shows, like you know, with me and to parties and introduced her to Michael Kors and Jeremy Scott and all these people. Um, I'm just gonna be real, right? I, I, I ruined a lot of relationships because of Tiffany Haddish because, you know. I tried to teach her how people should treat her. You know what I mean? And I tried to give her examples of the way other girls I work with are being treated. Um, and she hired some new people and, and they didn't like, they didn't like the way I did business and the way I did things for her. And um, what happens is like these people, basically these white people are always the gatekeepers, right? And so it's, it comes, to, it starts to be in those little things like, oh, he's difficult to work with or, this person says oh, you they don't want to work with him because of that and and for me i'm from chicago i'm from the hood it's like if i do something wrong we work that out but we don't let other people come in and 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 you know make this situation bigger and then it's like then it becomes he's not available or he's too expensive and all this shit they do and it got to a situation where she hired somebody and i wasn't getting along with her. i didn't think she respected me and um and, and so i walked away and i told tiffany i wish you well and i love you how we does that work how we get the gang back together though because i know she loves you mm -hmm. and i know you love her mm -hmm. on a deeper level i mean you're yeah. you know you you're you seem to be very close with your clients but i know i've seen you two together and I know. I, I, she was outside of zendaya she was the closest client i ever had like yeah. she would come over to my house and, and lay on the couch and she'll call crying and i'll call when i'm upset and like i don't do that like i don't do that with anybody other than her so I felt like we were more a family and it's like and for me I'm from Chicago again it's like if if I said I don't f with him you don't f with him if you my friend so that's the type of mentality in I had and that's not that's not what she showed me but that's fine like if she don't want to run her business that way then I get it but again I ruined relationships for trying to protect and trying to elevate Tiffany like how just you know like calling her like listen you should be getting this like I've done a deal like this before. You should be trying to get this type of money. And she, you know, Tiffany is very much well lost in that this, you know, so she don't know how to filter this. She don't know how to be slick about it. She's going to say what it is. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And so that get, this is a small industry, you know, and that gets back. And a lot of people, I've, again, ruined a lot of relationships from trying to protect her, mm -hmm. you know, or telling people like, no, she's not going to do that because, you know, Tiffany, Tiffany has, Tiffany is Tiffany. She has a certain aesthetic and it's not Hollywood, right? It's not Hollywood, so and a lot of people don't understand it. And I told them like these people don't know how to walk into a meeting and pitch you because they don't understand you, mm -hmm. and they also don't give a about you. You know what I mean? And so I did a lot of that, and and it kind of came back in to bite me in my ass. And I'm like, I can't do it. When anymore. you say when you say they don't get her, it's because she's from the hood. She's yeah. from the streets. Yeah. 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 I mean, and she is like one of those people. She wants everybody to win, and sometimes it may be at her loss. Yeah. And and I do think there is like a dogmatic type of energy you have to have in the game. Yeah. And I think she's getting it, but I think that's why she has people like me and you around, you know? So like how how we get the game back together? I mean, have you guys talked about no, it? No, we haven't. She called me, she called me and left me a voice message when uh, when my nephew died. Um, but I haven't spoken to her. I haven't spoken to her since. It just it just didn't, you know, and I've seen she's commented on my, you know, posts and stuff like that. But it's just like I was so hurt. Like I was really I was hurt by that because I'm like this this my sister, this my friend, you know, and even if I am doing something, you know, that that's not good for you, right? It's like 
let's have that conversation. And and we we had the conversation and you know, basically I walked away from it. It was like if you gotta if she had to make a choice, she was choosing them. So, you know, that just that didn't sit well with me.